Coming into this series, we hear the Blue Jays should sweep the Minnesota Twins. They should at least win two of three. However, you can't forget that their offense isn't all that terrible. They can hit the home run they, just like anybody. They're in the top five of the big leagues in home runs. So it tells you they can, they can definitely do the long ball. And you saw that today. Jays lose 7-3. 7-3 to the Minnesota Twins. With the Yankees and the Red Sox winning, the Jays are now a full game back of the Red Sox and half a game back of the Yankees. Big loss tonight. 82-65 and 65 is the Jays' record as of right now. Hyunjin Ryu was not good at all. He has been terrible over his last, what, 18 starts or so. He's got like an ERA North 5. He's been terrible. And it all started at the top of the second inning. Rooker, Rocker, whatever the heck his name is. It's an RBI double. Miguel Sanoa comes in to score. And the key theme for Ryu, or at least through his outing, everything was up in the zone. The couple strikeouts he had were down in the zone. And they were good pitches. But when you're throwing 91 and a change of like 80, what, 83, I'm going to guess. And that thing's hovering over the middle of the plate. It's going to get crushed. And you're down one nothing there. We go to the, uh, sorry, in the, to the bottom half of the second inning. And Danny Jets is a ground ball to short. Polanco double clutches, overthrows Sano. In comes Corey Dickerson. And the Jays have tied it at one. Good stuff. Then Jake Lamb goes the other way. Di tries, the, the left fielder tries to dive and play. Can't make the catch. Goes all the way to the wall. Lamb ends up going to third in a horrendous throw from Polanco to, to the plate. But Jensen scores in the play. And the Jays have a 2-1 lead here. So we're doing all right. We go to the top half of the third inning. Byron Buxton. It's an RBI double. Again, up in the zone for Ryu. And Polanco. Crushed a two-run bomb. His 31st home run of the year. Buxton comes in to score. By the way, Je Jeffers? Jeffries? I'm going to go with Jeffers. Uh, he scores on the Buxton double. Polanco's a home run. Buxton scores. Now it's a 4-2 game. And again, middle of the plate from Ryu. You cannot miss when you throw 90-91. to Good teams. Heck, any hitter will hit that. Then Josh Donaldson. Good to see him back. I love the, love the standing ovation from the crowd. Well deserved. But he gets a ball up in the zone. And he crushes to right field. And it's gone. Ryu gets the hook after two innings. It was terrible. Doesn't get anybody out in that, st in that third inning. It was awful. They bring in Ross Stripling. And he gives up a home run to Miguel Sano. Now it's 6-3. Sorry, 6-2, excuse me. You had a 2-1 lead going into this. You have a 6-2 deficit. There's still nobody out in the inning. Just awful. The pitching settled down for the most part after that. And the bottom of the third, Vladdy goes deep. It's a missile to left field off of Michael Pineda. And uh, it's a 6-3 game. And we're like, oh, maybe they'll come back. It's only the third inning. No, the offense shrivels up, doesn't give you anything the rest of the way. And Rocker, Rooker... Hits a solo bomb in the top half of the sixth inning to extend the lead 7-3 off of Julian Merriweather. And that's the ball game. A collect, uh, a collect of things. Quite a few things happened in this game leading to his loss. Your starting pitcher was not good by any means. Your offense wasn't very good. Three runs on five hits. It's not good enough against a team that pitching-wise is horrendous. Offensively, Corey Dickerson went two for four. The game scored a run. Got to give him credit for that first run of the ball game because on the ground ball up the middle, they're playing him in the shift and whatnot, but it was so slowly hit that he turned and went to second. He busted out of the box, slid in head first. Great job. Then he got a double in the ninth inning to kind of keep this thing going. So he did a good job today. But the team only had five hits and struck out seven times. It's just not good enough. If you want to make the playoffs, you've got to be better.
You got to beat the teams that you have to beat. The Red Sox and the Yankees did that today. And now you're on the outside looking in right now. Let's get to the pitching numbers because there's a lot of pitchers today. Ryu went two innings, allowed five hits, five runs. All were earned. Actually, not. I think one was technically an error. Either way, five runs allowed. Struck out two and walked one. Allowed two home runs. Ross Stripling went three innings, allowed two hits, one run. It was the solo bomb. I believe it was the first batter he faced. To Miguel Sano, two strikeouts and a walk. So he kind of held the forward a little bit. Julian Merriweather went one inning, allowed one hit, one run. Again, another home run, right? We talk about, uh, what did I say coming off the top? This team hits home runs. They hit one, two, three, four home runs in the ball game. They can do that. And Nate Pearson was good. He went an inning, allowed one hit, struck out the side. So that's great to see. Ryan Brucky went out there through an inning, walked two guys, but didn't allow a run to cross. But that's, just, again, the, the, the reoccurring theme with Brucky is he's not spotting up his pitches. Two walks in the inning, not what you want to see. Adam Simber goes out there, throws an inning, allows one hit, nothing else, though. With the Yankees playing the Cleveland Guardians, Indians, whatever, and the Red Sox playing the Orioles, I think we can all agree tomorrow is a must-win. Obviously, every game the rest of the way is a must-win or a big game. But now you're on the outside looking in, you've got to start winning. You have to start winning now. You've lost two of three, which is obviously very small. You've got to find a way to put some wins back in the win column. Tomorrow afternoon, 307 first pitch there at Rogers Center. Uh, Bailey Ober gets the mound for the, uh, who the heck are we playing again? Uh, Minnesota Twins. And Steven Matz gets the ball for the Jays. And Jose Barrios is getting the ball the finale of the series against his former club. So that's going to be interesting for him. But you guys get one game at a time. And this team's got to go back out there tomorrow. And they got to light this guy up. They got to get. They got to get ten runs. They got to get back into their hit. Their hitting shoes going again, because that was not pretty today by any means. All right. So you know what, guys? That is going to do it for this one. If you enjoyed the video and not the game today, smack the like button. Do appreciate that. Hit the subscribe button if you're not already. Comment down below. Thoughts in the video. Thoughts in the game. Would you like? Would you not like from today's ball game from the Toronto Blue Jays? Twitter is down below for myself. Follow up, send me a DM to that great stuff, guys. The Instagram link is down below, so follow up there if you have not done so already. And I will talk to you guys, of course, Jays edition, tomorrow afternoon as the Jays. Look, you get back into the win column, big time, because they need it. Steven Matz on the mound for the Blue Jays. Bailey Ober on the mound for the Minnesota Twins. Thank you guys so much for listening and watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. We'll talk to you guys then.